ball is so stupid. Why don't you men do something positive with your free time? Do you know what my women's group and I were doing this morning? Uh, having this side up mowed into the hair on their chest? <laughs> no. Actually, we were at an environmental seminar discussing ways to save the nation's topsoil. And I can see by the back of your neck here that you've already done more than your part. How bad is it, Aaron? Well, we took him to my doctor, and he says all Mr. Bundy needs is a minor operation. They make this little circular incision in his lower back, ease the pressure off his spine, and he's good as new. Good going, crazy legs. Now you need an operation. I'm fine, don't you see I'm fine? Fine? Fine for what, Al? Starring in the circus as Bundo the Fiddler Crab Boy? <laughs> Ringing bells in a clock tower somewhere? <laughs> Granted, they're both higher paying jobs than the one you have now. <laughs> but I would imagine that by the time you get home, you'd want to be fully erect. <laughs> but then again... <laughs> you know, Mr. Bundy, our coach taught us some great massage techniques for the back. Yeah, you want to give it a try? Well, I don't mind. Oh! <laughs> oh, there goes my back again. Uh, <laughs> could you boys help me home and up the stairs and into my bedroom and out of these uncomfortable clothes? Well, sure. Only if it'll make you feel better. Oh, it will. It will. <laughs> Do you boys like pina coladas? <laughs> Uh, where are you going, Peg? I am calling the hospital about your operation. Ah! <laughs> Al, look at you. You have got to get this taken care of. But I'm fine. You are going to the hospital. I am not going to the hospital. All I need is a hot shower and a little bit of rest. You'll see by tomorrow I'll be my old self. Hello, operator. Just have to get around this couch here. Uh, yes, I'd like the number of the hospital, please. Up the stairs, wherever they are. Uh, which one? Oh, I don't know. What's the cheapest one? <laughs> no, an ambulance won't be necessary. A hearse may be good. <laughs> No, Mars. Men who leave their wives for IHOP waitresses is on Geraldo. <laughs> Al? He's been in surgery for about an hour now. Look, ma'am, uh, my wife has just given birth to triplets. Well, congratulations. Who's the father? <laughs> so anyway, Al just keeps going on about how something bad is going to happen to him. And I say, look, it's a simple operation. What are the odds of something horrible happening to you? Excuse me, Mrs. Bundy, but something horrible has happened to your husband. Uh, Marcy, can I call you back? She says no, and can you speak louder? There is some good news. He's alive. Well, how alive? Can he walk? Can he talk? Will he ever be able to work again? He's a shoe salesman, Mrs. Bundy. <laughs> we could replace his brain with a sock full of popcorn. He would still be able to work again. <laughs> See, this was one of those unfortunate accidents due to simple human error. It seems our surgical team misread your doctor's instructions. It said to give him a circular incision. Yeah. So how could you misread that? We gave him a circumcision. Dear. Uh, where is he? That's the other thing. 